Hello our dear students, welcome to our English videos from Al Aram Modern School English Department presented to you by Mrs. Gina and Mustafa. Welcome back and I hope you have done great and spent a great time during your vacation. Now it's been really long time since we last uh, studied so let's try to refresh your memories and revise some English grammar lessons. Let's start by the basic tense which we all use all the time in our speaking and reading, which is the present simple and the, pre the present continuous. Now to start with, I need you to have a closer look at these two examples. The first one says, I teach English. And the second says, I am. I am teaching English. Pause, take one minute and think. What's the difference or what do you think the difference is between the two examples? Yes. Here we have a big difference between the two. The sound, the, the words seem to be the same, but there is a big difference between the two. When I say I teach English, this is my job and this is what I do. So this is like a permanent state. That's why I'm using here, hmm, which tells do you think? Yes, this is the present simple because it's expressing something which is generally true. The second statement says I am teaching English. Which tense do you think this is? This is the present continuous, which expresses what I am doing at the moment. I am teaching you English. This means an action that's taking place at the moment or the time of speaking. Now let's continue with some more examples. They live in the USA and I am studying for the exams these days. Now first think, which uh, sentence is the present simple? Yes, the first one, they live in the USA, this is the present simple, because it expresses something which is generally true, where they live. And the second one, I am studying for the exams these days, this is a sentence that expresses an action that's taking place only these days, so only at the time of speaking, that's why we're using here the present continuous tense. What's the difference? They live in the USA means that they live in the USA all the time and this is a permanent state. I am studying for the exams these days. This means that I'm studying only these several days. It's not permanent and the action is taking place for a short period of time. Now, how do we form it? Of course, there is a difference between the present simple and the present continuous. Let's start by the forming of the present simple. Of course, any sentence starts with the subject, which could be the pronouns, with I, you, we, and they, we live just, we use, sorry, just the verb, like live, I live, you eat, we swim, they go, and so on. But with he, she, and it, we use the verb plus s or ies or s according to the ending of the verb. Like, I live in the USA, here we use the subject I plus the verb live. We don't add anything to the verb because the subject is I. She studies architecture, here the subject is she, and that's why we add S to the verb. But the verb here studies ends with Y, that's why we change the Y to IES. Now, how do we use it with verb to be? Remember the forms of the verb be for the present simple tense. What are they? Yes, I need you to answer me. Correct. The, te the tense uh, verb to be is am, is, and are. We use I with am, I am, he, she, and it. We use is with them. And you, we, or they come with are. I am, he, she, it, is, we, you, they, are. Like... I am a teacher and you are students. How do we put it in the negative? It's very easy, just like how we put the negative for all the, or most of the English tenses, we just use not. You add not to the verb. But how are you going to add not? Will you say I live not? No, you need to add or use the auxiliary verb do. So you can say don't or doesn't according to the subject. I, you, we, they, don't, he, she, it, 
does it and then the verb like I live in the USA how you put it in the negative I don't live in the USA she studies architecture she doesn't study or does not study architecture we just add not to do or does according to the subject how do you put negative for verb to be for verb be simply add the word not after the verb as we said I am tired I am not tired she is rich she is not or isn't rich they are here they are not here now let's move to the next form which is questions and answers we form questions by adding or putting auxiliary verb do or does as I said according to the subject or any form of verb be before the subject like let's see an example do you live in the USA this is a question and we started the question with do we chose do because the verb is sorry because the subject is you so do you live and notice here that live comes in the infinitive form with do yes I do this is the short answer or no I don't simply add. it's very easy does she study medicine here we used does because the subject is she so does she study medicine yes she does or yes well done no she doesn't we can also use the verb to be like are they friends the answer is yes they are or no they aren't if it's negated now you must be asking yourself this when do we need to use the present simple already use it all the time in your speaking even when you express yourself when you speak about things that are true about yourself like your age your height for example my name is Jana I am um, 11 years old I have two brothers and one sister my eyes are, bra are brown um, I am uh, slim and um, I am slim and beautiful for example so all these things are generally true about yourself so use the present simple with it so the first usage is for facts or things that are always or generally true things that are right all the time like water boils at 100 degrees Celsius it rains a lot in Lithuania the sky is blue now let's clarify these examples the first one says water boils at 100 degrees so that means this is a fact it's a scientific fact that no one can argue against it so we use the present simple with it the second one it rains a lot in Lithuania that means this is the general statement of the climate in this country so this is something which is generally or always true the third one the sky is blue also this is a fact that's why we use the present simple with it to express facts second usage is for situations that are permanent things that are the same all the time like where you live I live in New York this is something which is permanent it doesn't change all the time John works in a bank this is his job and this is what he does Lisa studies architecture all these things are permanent it's not it doesn't change all the time okay third usage is for things we do regularly like hobbies habits and routines now can you tell me some more examples about this look at the pictures and try to guess very good every day I get up at 7:30. I have a shower and eat breakfast then I take the train to work every Thursday I play basketball all these examples are things that you do regularly repeatedly things that you do as hobbies or habits so use the present simple to express them and things that are regularly done we call them routines fourth and last usage for the present simple is for actions that are scheduled for any schedule we use the present simple like trains like the timings of planes like the schedule or the timetable of your sessions at school and so on here is an example the train leaves at 9 p.m. this is something scheduled so we express it using the present simple another example is the lessons start at 8 o'clock in the morning 
again this is scheduled and we have a timetable for these appointments that's why we use the present simple with it now let's have a look at the adverbs of frequency and time phrases these are the words or the keywords for the present simple once you see these words of course you're going to use the present simple with them like always which means all the time often which means most of the time usually it's like a habit sometimes so not all the time only sometimes rarely that means very very few times never that means you don't do this action once a week twice a month every day four times a year every Tuesday all these adverbs of frequency express things that you do repeatedly or as routines that's why you use the present simple with them I never go to the cinema alone my grandmother sees her doctor twice a month again these are things that are done repeatedly and we use the adverbs of frequency to express how often you do the action here notice the verb I go present simple my grandmother sees again present simple now let's move on to the next tense which is close yet different from the present simple that is the present continuous tense how do we form it as we said we start by the subject after the subject we add verb to be according to the subject and then verb plus ing like i am eating you are playing he is singing she is studying it is traveling we are talking you are shouting and they are reading so according to the subject you choose verb to be am, com am comes with i you are he she it is and with we you and they we use are and then the verb you just add ing to the verb to express the continuous state very easy and simple let's move on to the next part which is about the negative forms and questions how do you put it in the negative same style you just add not are you eating I am not eating this is the question form are you eating you start with the auxiliary verb are and then the subject you and then verb plus ing eating how you answer in the negative you say I am not eating is she singing she is not singing you here just change the verb according to the subject because we have she we used is and you start with the auxiliary verb third example are you reading they are not reading you just add not after the auxiliary verb am um, is or are very easy a piece of cake let's move on we use present continuous when when do you think we use present continuous of course we already said that and you already know super students for actions happening now or at the moment of speaking now have a look at this picture and tell me what is the man doing it is raining outside he can't pick up the phone he is having a shower now so what's the man doing he is having a shower so we start with the subject he followed by verb to be is and then have you add ing to it of course you drop the e this is a spelling rule and then the rest of the sentence a shower now so now is the keyword for the present continuous and this is how you form it he is having a shower now to express an action that is happening at the moment of speaking second usage is for temporary actions things that are happening at the moment of speaking temporarily we are looking for a new house at the moment so we don't do this all the time we don't do this we, we didn't choose to do it in the past we're just doing it for the time being it's a temporary action they are painting the fence that means they are doing it right now okay they didn't do it before and they are not going to do it in the future it's just happening for now third usage is for fixed arrangements or plans in the near future so if you have already agreed with your friend that you're going to see him or if you have already planned for the weekend you use the present continuous to express your plans or arrangements for the near future like I am going out with him tonight 
so of course you have already agreed or planned with your friend that you're going out with him so how you express it you say I am going out with him you start with the subject and then verb to be am and then ing you add it to the verb I am going out we are flying to Paris tomorrow morning that means you have already arranged your stuff you have packed your uh, luggage you have booked the tickets and then you express this plan by saying we are flying to Paris tomorrow morning because tomorrow morning is considered the near future fourth usage is for currently changing and developing situations things that are changing they are not the same all the time like the earth is getting hotter and hotter the winters in Lithuania are becoming warmer and warmer and the prices are increasing all the time so all these situations are not stable they are changing and developing that's why we use the present continuous to express them time expressions that we use with the present continuous are now at the moment at present which means at present time these days nowadays today tonight and so on for example you say my mother is cooking at the moment I am going dancing tonight so these are things that are future plans and you're using the present continuous to express them now let's revise let's just have a look a quick look at the usages of present simple against or versus the present continuous for present simple you will use it to express general truth for present continuous to express what is happening now or at the moment for present simple you express routines and habits things that are done all the time repeatedly or regularly present continuous expresses changing or developing situations present simple expresses permanent situations things that are the same or true all the time while present continuous expresses temporary actions the present simple is also used to express timetables like timings of flights and so on and the present continuous is used to express future plans or fixed arrangements like we're going out for dinner tonight next let's have a closer look at this practice which should be very easy for you now I need you to choose the correct form of present simple or present continuous just pause the video answer and then check your answers after you play the video again number one says I live or am living in New York which form of verb live should be used here what do you think is it a permanent state or something that's only happening at the moment you don't have any keywords here but you can guess that this is a permanent state where you live is something which is permanent so you use here live I live in New York number two she is reading or reads a book now here you have a keyword to help you which is now and now is a keyword for the present continuous so you, you use is reading she is reading a book now I don't like or am not liking football this is something that's generally true about you and you express your feelings or emotions usually by using the present simple so which one don't use the don't like or I'm not liking well done I don't like football for every day we go or are going to school every day is a key word for present simple yes it's a repeated action or a routine so we go it rains or is raining outside here we don't have a keyword but still you can guess that this is something that's happening now or generally speaking you say that it rains outside of course it rains outside it does not it never rains inside so here you're expressing something that's happening now or at the moment you use the present continuous it is raining outside six do you ride or are you riding a bicycle every morning here the keyword is every morning you use present simple do you ride a bicycle seven i usually am going or go to the beach late 
The keyword here is usually, so use present simple go. I usually go to the beach late. Eight, he is studying, staying, sorry, or stays at the hotel these days. So something which is only happening for these days. You use the present continuous. Yes, he is staying. The sun rises or is rising in the east. Is this something that's happening only now or that's changing? No, it's something that's fixed or it's a general truth. Actually, it's a scientific fact. So you have to use the present simple. The sun rises in the east. We are traveling or travel to London next week. This is a future plan or arrangement, but it's for the near future. That's why I use the present continuous. Well done. We are traveling to London next week. Good. Now, as an extra um, practice, I needed to complete these sentences using the words in the boxes. Now, pause the video, answer the exercise, and then check your answers and give yourself a mark. Now, I will tell you the answers. He space about buying a house. Which word or which box should be put here? He is thinking because it's something that's happening now. I space next week off. I am taking because it's a plan or arrangement actually, but for the near future. We always space at the Sofitel when we go to Lyon. We always, what do you think, is staying or stay? Of course, we always stay. Present simple space. A wireless network in your office this is a question so you have to start with a question for do you have yes do you have a wireless network in your office next he space at the conference next week he space at the conference next week future arrangement but very near so he is speaking present continuous she space with friends over the holidays she stays with friends over the holidays. She, what do you think? She's staying, yes, she is staying. We space, it's a good idea. We, so which verb goes with we? We don't think it's a good idea. Present simple, because this is what you think or believe. I space a vitamin supplement every day. Every day, it's a repeated action, so present simple, so I take. She space a baby very soon. She is, she's having a baby, very good. It's a near future. He space French and German fluently. He speaks, because this is something that's generally true about the person, you use present simple with it. That's all for now. Thank you so much for your attention and for listening to the video and wait for more videos coming soon. Best of luck and best wishes from your English school and teacher.